Okay, right here is a 1958 Euclid R27. This is actually the last remaining R27 left in the anthracite region of Pennsylvania. This truck is over 50 years old, and just this year, 2010, this truck was officially shut down and put out of service. Now, Euclid introduced the R27 in 1957, and it was in production for five years up until 1962. Two versions of this truck were produced, a 65 TD and a 66 TD. Both trucks were identical in their design and appearance. The only difference was both trucks were powered by two different engines. The reason why Euclid did this was to give its customers a choice of what engine the customer would have prefer to have installed in the truck. A 65 TD was powered by a GM 6110 diesel, while the 66 TD right here is powered by a Cummins NRTO 6BI diesel. This is a four-cycle, six-cylinder engine that produces 335 horsepower for the truck when it's driving. Up top there on the side, you can see your air cleaner, which will clean the air, suck it back into the engine when the truck is running. One common feature with a lot of these older Euclid haulers is a front guard mounted on the bumper of the nose of the truck to protect your radiator, which is right back here, from any flying debris that could fly up and harm the radiator. You can see your front headlights, the round ones, very common style from the 1950s. The ladder you see right there is to get up top to service the engine if it needs repair. This is a two-wheel drive truck. This is your steering rod which connects from your steering wheel down to your steering cylinder which is mounted right under the nose of the truck here. It connects back to your tie rods which connect to your front axle which in turn will turn your tires to steer the truck left or right. This is the inside of a cab of an R27. You can see all your gauges in the front here to monitor the truck when it's running. This hand lever right here is for your speeds, your forward, neutral, and reverse position. This hand lever here is called your trolley brake. It basically is exactly the same as your foot brake on the floor. This is used to hold the truck in position when you're being loaded so the driver doesn't have to keep his foot on the brake. He can just pull this down and it will hold the truck in position. You can see that the seat has been removed. As I said, this truck has now been put out of service. The box you see over there is what would have hold your batteries in the truck. And you can see for a truck this old, the cab isn't very well insulated. These older Euclids were very noisy and rough trucks to drive. You can see your ladder mounted on the side of your fender right there to get up inside the truck when the operator would go to run it. These round tanks you see right here are your air tanks and they hold your PSI for your air brakes. This tank you see right here that is mounted in between the cab and the dump body is your fuel tank. The older Euclid haulers always had the fuel tanks mounted right behind the driver's cab. And there are two caps, one on each end, to fuel the body with diesel fuel from either side. This is your hydraulic oil tank you see right here. If you look at the body, you'll see that there are a lot of ribs lining it. The purpose of that is to reinforce the body and to keep it from bending or twisting when a load is being dropped in. The R27 is a 27-ton capacity truck, but Euclid did offer an optional 30-ton body for this truck. Right under the mudguard here is your four-speed Allison transmission. It's a model CLBT 5640. Right here on the superstructure of the truck is your serial and model ID. And you can see where it says 66TD. Now in 1962, the R27 was replaced by the newer R30. And if you're interested in seeing an R30 in a walk around video, please check my channel.
but there's one of the last R-27s left in Pennsylvania.